Hey guys, Rebecca here, creator of Ganty Plans Printables. Uh, every month, at the beginning of every month, I like to post a video going over all of the inserts that I released the previous month to give you an idea of my thought process behind designing them, how I intend to use them in my own planner system, to hopefully give you guys some ideas of how you could use them in your own planning. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the inserts released in June 2021. So I try to release five inserts every month uh, as a nice round number and I've been trying to like get my catalog larger over the course of this first year of the shop being open but this month that didn't happen. Um, the one I had planned for 45 I wanted to make sure to do a really good job with it and then I kind of ran out of steam and I decided it was better to make four good inserts that I was really proud of than five that I was kind of mediocre at about. Um, but that being said, let's jump in. Insert number 41 um, is sort of a different version, a multi-purpose version of one of the inserts that was in the pregnancy bundle, which was insert 40, which I posted a video about last month. Um, this one is a general doctor's appointment log. So uh, you can keep track of any kind of doctor's appointment. Maybe you see, you know, a psychologist or maybe you see a specialist for something else and you end up having a lot of appointments. It's nice to keep them in one place. Maybe you have kids, you have a lot of appointments, good to keep them in one place. Um, so there's space for, um, you know, date, time and location, obviously. Provider and types, you can say like who the doctor or nurse or dentist or whatever is, um, and then what type they are. So if you say, you know, Dr. Smith is the dentist, and then you say Dr. Jones is the optometrist, whatever. Notes and questions could be either uh, for things that you don't want to forget to ask the doctor, so you fill this in beforehand, or it could be notes um, that you take afterwards, or it could be any sort of context of like, okay, well, this one is for a filling, this one's for a cleaning, this one's for, you know, an ultrasound, this one's for whatever. So that's insert 41 more general purpose than the appointment log that was included in the pregnancy bundle, but similar idea. Insert number 42 um, is to read slash watch slash listen slash, I don't know, you could probably use this for any type of media, but the point um, is it's a tidy place to keep track of everything that you want to consume. Um, so you put the title, the platform, I'm trying to use words that can really encompass anything. So platform could mean Kindle, or it could mean you know, paperback, or it could mean Netflix, or it could mean, you know, podcast. It could just be like the type of media here or specifically where you get it. You could say library. Um, and then there's room here for also for any kind of note. I was going to say like, I was going to have a space to put like who you want to watch something with, for example, but you don't always, and that doesn't apply to everything. Like, um, maybe you have a podcast that you only listen to with your best friend or, um, you know, a Netflix show you only watch with your significant other, but you know, that's usually not the case with books and stuff. But so that was one thing you could put in this section here. It could be who recommended it to you, or it could be, you know, it's a book from the library. So this is a very open ended and not even labeled space. And then you've got these stars. So when you're done with consuming the thing, uh, you can fill out a star rating. And then when you see that there's a star rating, you know that it has been read, watched, or listened to. It doesn't have to be a podcast, actually. It could also be a music album. Just thought of that. So that's uh, insert 42. Insert 43 is a, well, it's called a monthly review in the catalog on the website, but it could be for anything. So my you know, idea was you put, you know, June 2021, and then you can give yourself a general rating of like, this is how I felt like I did uh, in that month. Or it can be like, review for a project that you completed and a star rating for how well you think you did. Um, so then the questions that you want to ask yourself, and it's just sort of a guided exercise here, and I'll zoom in so you can see better. Uh, what went well? What went wrong? Things that you couldn't control because it's often easy to really beat yourself up when things don't go exactly to plan. And um, so I think it's important to have a space here to sort of have that out clause and say, you know, it, it, everything went terribly, but it was because this, this, this happened, you know, we got sick and whatever. Challenges coming up. So this is for, you know, it's going to be different next time because it's not always the same. Uh, so say next month, I know that I'm going to have a whole lot of birthdays. So, you know, or I know that school's starting and so the schedule's going to change or there's more traffic or whatever the, the challenge is coming up and then do differently next time. Um, so based on what went well and didn't, 
what are you going to try differently the next time you do the thing have a month uh, do a project i mean you could do a review every week if you wanted to um, so that's why, again, I try to keep things as open-ended as possible. That was insert 43 and now insert 44, the last one for this month, uh, you'll notice is printed wear. So I'm going to talk a lot about how that works, but first this is the currently dashboard, uh, which I put in quotes cause that's just the name, but, um, it's just one of those where you put what you're currently into. So you could do this every month. You could do this every week again, whenever, but what are you currently reading, watching, listening, playing, which could be any kind of a game or it could be an instrument, I guess. Um, loving just generally generally that sort of a catch-all and then looking forward to uh, things you're excited about and then currently doing again sort of a catch-all um, there should be space for multiple things say that you're you know watching two shows you could put one of them here is what you're loving um, and you know what you can always if you want to cover these headings up and replace them with your own thing but um, that should catch everything the idea of this is it's like a dashboard um, the, my, my thought and the way that I'm using it is I print this on the back of my monthly insert. Um, and so this is the very first thing in my planner, which you'll have seen in my monthly plan with me. And I think in maybe an Instagram post already. Um, and so the idea of the way this prints, I put it only formatted on one side of the page here. So it's on the right side here. And then on page two, it's on the left side. So if you wanted it to be printed back to back, you would print page one, then you would put the paper back in the exact same way and print page two on top of it. Then you would turn the page over and do the same thing. If you're only ever going to want it on the right side with blank paper on the back, you'd print page one, then turn it upside down and print page one again, upside down on the other side. Um, but this way you can really adapt it and it's going to make it really easy to print on the back side of something else without wasting a lot of paper and ending up with like a left side page when all you want are right side pages. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, I might, if I got, you know, a lot of confused comments, I could do a video showing how that's done. Um, but it's basically just look at where on the page you want it and print that side of it. Um, and obviously only the pocket size has two copies here. And then one last thing I wanted to show you uh, today is not an insert, but sort of a product or a service. Uh, thanks to a YouTube subscriber who approached me and got me to bite the bullet and actually start figuring out a way to offer this. I now offer printing of all of my inserts and shipping of physical paper inserts. Uh, so if you don't own a printer or if you just prefer to not do it yourself, that is now an option for you. Um, the print, uh, pricing scheme is a dollar per design. So basically think of that as like the licensing fee. Um, since you're not purchasing the insert yourself, you're just purchasing the design, if that makes sense. And then 25 cents per sheet of paper used. So that uh, means that your very minimum order would be $1.25, which is why that's the down payment amount. You purchase this listing. There's only two in stock at a time, uh, at least for now, while I get this underway. And if I figure out that I can um, accommodate more at more orders at a time, I will up that. But uh, for now, you can back order. But if, uh, if there's more than two people uh, already in the queue, you will have to wait just a little bit. Um, so that $1.25 will get deducted then from your final uh, total at the end. I will work with you via email to determine exactly what you want um, and then send you a custom listing uh, to purchase with your final total, including the shipping. Um, and so the way that the pricing is per sheet of paper. So if you're getting pocket size, that really does mean that you get a better deal because um, you're, the, as you've seen, um, you get two inserts per sheet of paper, like I just said. Um, and so that, that just makes pocket a little bit more affordable, but basically if you want it front and back, that's 25 cents. If you only want it printed on the front side, that's 25 cents. And we figure all that out in, um, emails to make sure that everything is exactly the way you want it. And then I determine what the weight will be and that will determine what the shipping will be. So that's why shipping is on the final order. But if you have questions about the shipping rates, I can, uh, answer all of those in emails as well. Contact at ganshiplans.com. Uh, but this is now a thing that is offered. So if you're interested in that, you can find this listing on the shop and purchase the down payment and we can get you started on a custom order. 
And that's everything. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I post planner videos every Thursday uh, where I use my inserts so you get even more information there and ideas, hopefully inspiration. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one on Thursday. Bye.